back to another episode of Ollie's Farm and as you can see behind me here Alan Bartlett has arrived on the farm and they're harvesting the carrots which they planted earlier in the year. There's a Dewolf harvester behind us here with an RA3060 and it is an absolute beast. It is busy harvesting the carrots from the farm. On the front here you can see the tops are being cut by the machine and then afterwards they're being lifted up onto a conveyor belt where they're then taken to the back of the machine here and processed to put onto the following trailers. Once the carrots are on the harvester, they're then offloaded onto the trailers behind the harvester here. There's one trailer here which is almost full up and there's another one as well here in hot pursuit. at the back of the machine here, soil which was on the carrots is deposited at the back of the machine and on the floor here there's quite a nice neat pile of soil left afterwards. It's a really good job the machine of taking out every single carrot except from these tiny tiny ones here. They're the only ones I've been able to find little tiny carrots small bits of chopped up carrot, very very small carrots there, but on the whole the machine does a very good job of lifting almost every carrot, so it's a very efficient piece of equipment. So we've seen the carrots being loaded into the trailer, we'll head down further to the bottom of the field where the carrots are being loaded. So here we are at the loading site and as you can see behind me this is a machine which puts the carrots up on an elevator where they're then put into a lorry and these are some stands which the trailer goes on when the trailer is backed up onto this platform here. So from when the carrots are harvested on the field, they're then brought down with the tractor and trailer here, placed onto the mach this machine here where they're then processed in the hopper, moved up on this elevator here which then drops the carrots into the back of this trailer here. The carrots are cleaned on their way up and the soil is removed from them. This man here is controlling the elevator arm with a computer there and he's just moving the elevator so that the carrots are deposited in the right areas of the trailer. This is a Grimmy elevator here. So the elevator, as you can see, removes soil from the carrots and we're left here with a pile of soil. So there's a tractor and trailer right here and the job of the tractor is to remove the soil here from the elevator and take it away so that it can go back onto the field in the distance there.
As I'm sure you can see, it's quite an operation here. There's a lot of equipment which has been carted over from Cambridge, where Bar Alan Barlitz is based. And if we just look over here, there's a porter toilet for the men, a Stuart trailer, and a bulker trailer in the distance there. So all of this equipment has to be carted around with the harvesters and the tractors and trailers and also the hopper here as well we can see and all of this equipment travels up and down the country apparently as far as Scotland and many many other places so this is a team who are super super busy this time of the year to ensure that everyone has their carrots for dinner at night from the tractor drivers to the lorry drivers to the harvester operators everyone is working tirelessly to ensure that the carrots are harvested and brought in to the facilities to be processed so it's a big big job and it's also a big job where the carrots are processed just near Cambridge so we'll just return back to the harvester and see how the harvester is getting on So this is quite an important machine here, which Bartlett's takes with them. It's a tractor here, a New Holland T7, and equipped with a front-mounted flail mower, which mows the top of the carrots off. And there's also another flail topper on the back here, which flails the vegetation of the carrots off so that the harvester can come in and then lift up the carrots. So I've just been having a word with the harvest operator and he's just said that there's a low loader on the way over to come and pick up this harvester here because it's due to have a service tomorrow at the Allen Barlett headquarters near Cambridge. So tonight this harvester here is going to be picked up and taken away to Cambridge to be serviced and it's then going to be returned back onto the farm on Monday so on Monday, harvest will resume here because today he's not going to be able to get the rest of this field done. So on the front of the harvester is a mower which is basically mowing all of this foliage here off the top of the carrots. They're then being lifted out of the ground and they then go on to a conveyor belt. And this section here is where basically the carrots are lifted and then they go up the conveyor belt in the middle here where they then go up an elevator to the back where you can see there's an elevator which is then taking them into the back of the trailer there. And it's amazing that tonight these carrots will be processed and tomorrow they'll be in a supermarket. Alan Bartlett supplies Tesco's, Sainsbury's and Lidl's supermarkets, just to name a few. And they also supply a lot of other markets and suppliers. So it's really important to them that everything goes as smoothly as possible during this operation. The harvester driver has told me that he harvested 280 tonnes at the bottom of this field today. So that's 280 tonnes of carrots which is going to go to feed the country. So when you have your supper this evening, it's possible that the carrots on your plate could have come from this farm here in rural Norfolk. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the carrot harvest today. I hope it's given you some sort of insight as to what the carrot harvest is like here on the farm during this time of the year. Thanks very much for the comments from yesterday's video. I'm going to read out quickly some of the comments from yesterday's video before the end of today's episode. So the top comment here from Paul F. It would be interesting if you could do a video of the history of, the, of your farm, how long it's been in the family, etc. 18 hours ago, that's from Paul F. So thank you very much, Paul F. I will do a video on the family farm here in an upcoming video, and I will put it on the list for a future video. So thank you very much for that, Paul F. Uh, moving down the comments, the JCB is in more need of a wash than the 6930 from Liam, Liam Doyle. Five likes, thanks very much, Liam. Yeah, that's very true. We do need to give the JCB a good wash. That is absolutely right. Hello, person scrolling through the comments. Have a nice day, Thomas Stevens, 12 hours ago. Thanks very much for that, Thomas. Go and test a new deer from Lucky Lorry Driver. Well, thanks very much for that. We will have to go and test a 6155R at some point, and I'm sure that will be coming up in a future video. I'm in talks at the moment for visiting a tractor factory, believe it or not, in another country. So I'll let you guys guess in the comments section below today which tractor factory you think Ollie's Farm could be visiting. Also, thank you very much to everyone yesterday who commented in the comment section below with the tag numbers of the calves matched up to the names. Thank you very much to Henry Ellis who sent me a document on the Instagram messenger and thank you very much everyone else who also combined the tag numbers with the names of the calves. It is much appreciated, so thank you very much. 
So the challenge today in the comments section below is to guess which tractor factory in which country I'm going to visit in the next few months. So if you could guess that, that would be absolutely great. So that is today's challenge. So time is now getting on and the sun is going down on the farm today. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, you can follow the Ollie's Farm Instagram page, which is ollies.farm in the Instagram search bar. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and you can tap the little bell to be notified when there is a new episode of Ollie's Farm. And if you enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up, but only if you enjoyed the video. And as always, do comment, rate and subscribe for plenty more videos to come.